got Ashwini Vaishnav, the minister with me, leading the Indian delegation. It's, uh, and then you've got various state governments as well. So we've got Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh uh, as well. There are other state governments also over here. Thank you so much, Minister, for being with us. Um, is it larger this year than in the past, broadly speaking? I mean, and how is it going in terms of generating business or interest in India? So a couple of things. First, uh, we have a very clearly integrated or unified uh, pavilion this time. So all the state government pavilions are part of the India pavilion, which is very different from the previous uh, yes, times. Yes. And yes, of course, the space and the presence is very large. There are so many other Indian companies which are present on the promenade. If you walk across this entire length, you'll find that a large part of this is today India's presence is very clearly felt here. Second point I would say, the uh, global financial world, the world of technology, all of them have a lot of confidence about India in terms of the policy certainty, in terms of the uh, way our uh, technological base is getting set up. People have a lot of confidence in our growth. People have a lot of confidence in the trajectory of our economy. Many of the things that have uh, happened in the last few years are something which are clear testament to Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji's clarity of thought and the way he has executed the policies. So that's what people are like talking about. They are showing that interest. They are showing that confidence. You also had the India AI mission. Uh, a part of that is uh, the ethical use of AI. We have a huge concern over deep fakes. Um, how Im the world is talking about AI, the WEF is talking about AI. How significant is the India AI mission in defining the path we take? See, the India AI mission has three major objectives that we are going to do in this year. First is to create a common compute facility of 10,000 GPUs. Second is to have that very strong talent pipeline and third is to basically focus on getting the applications in. Apart from that, we are also, we have had a very senior uh, level committee headed by the principal scientific advisor to advise us on what should be the yeah. policy framework so that uh, recommendation has already come and we are discussing with all the stakeholders to get the, um, get the right uh, regulatory framework where the innovation and regulation are neatly balanced. Um, globally, when I talk with the AI professionals, more or less there is good thinking which has gone in, uh, which is today kind of there is a consensus that yes, the potential of AI in solving some of the most complex problems, let's say in the case of healthcare, in case of weather, in case of logistics, in case of design, those must be tapped and simultaneously the societal issues which are there must be addressed. So that understanding and that reckoning is very clear. What about large la uh, language models, LLMs? Uh, do you believe that we need to do a lot more? Is that in, uh, necessarily in our interest as we pursue uh, our AI ambitions? Yes, we uh, are working with the stakeholders on two more items which are next phase of the AI mission, uh, getting our own AI chip designed and second is having our own uh, model mm -hmm. and uh, the feedback that is coming is uh, should we have more focused models uh, that is one feedback which is coming because that can help us solve some of the complex problems in a much uh, easier way and uh, the second feedback that we are getting is that should we have our own uh, AI chip uh, designed so all these are things which we are working as the second part of our AI mission and uh, hopefully in the next uh, six to 10 months we'll be able to crystallize our strategy on this. The other key aspect of all of this is um, semiconductors uh, and resilient supply chains. We've spoken about this last year as well, but in terms of resilient supply chains, uh, since last year, what has actually changed in terms of, uh, you know, fabs on the ground or, or proposals to build fabs in the ground? Where is India when it comes to actually building semiconductors. So we just completed the semiconductor roundtable with the senior professionals, hmm. CEOs of the semiconductor industry hmm. and all of them expressed their huge satisfaction at the progress of the India Semiconductor Mission and uh, many of them had met Honorable Prime Minister Shindarendra Modi ji when they came for the second uh, edition of the semi and uh, everybody is so happy with the progress. Just three years back, January 2022, we had announced the semiconductor mission 
and today in January of 2025, we have five semiconductor units where the construction is progressing so well. Many places the construction is in the final stages of their completion and the equipment are getting installed. The gases, chemical, that ecosystem is getting installed. So this is phenomenal. So people have shown huge confidence in a semiconductor program and uh, now we are focusing on the next stage of it and we should have our first Made in India chip rolled out in this year itself, in 2025 itself. Now we are looking at the next phase where how can we get more and more equipment manufacturers, yeah. chemical manufacturers because see, uh, from parts per million purity, now we have to go to parts per billion right. purity levels.